All right, what's good, y'all? It's Lucy back with another video. So today I'm gonna break down a sample. So I started the sample off like kind of the regular way, um, just trying to make a dark melody. Yeah, so recently I've been listening to a lot of like uh, Luzan Banfani, uh, Homicide Gang, Uno the Activist, and Yeet and stuff like that. So I've been hearing a lot of serum synths in my ears lately. So I thought uh, like mid through the loop, I would implement some of these sounds in this loop but yeah i'm about to play with the sample right now and then break it down so yeah let's get straight to it all right so here's the first pattern of the melody it's a one-shot bell uh, from my upcoming one-shot kit and first i'm gonna play it without any effects and then i'm gonna break it down and show you all the processing so here is what it sounds like So it's super repetitive, it's only like one bar that is repeating. So I'm just gonna delete all of this stuff right here and show you how I made it. So uh, we're in F sharp minor. I'm gonna turn on the scale highlighting. So we're in F sharp minor. And the, so basically I start off, uh, hmm, how the f did I do this? All right, so here's how I start off the melody. I just made an F sharp minor chord like this. Then I took the middle note and pitched up one octave, and here's what that sounds like. Just an F sharp minor chord that's inverted. After that, I just utilized this half step right here, so I moved the A over here. And then I added another note right here and dragged it out like this. And then I took this one out here. And after that, I just duplicated this one down here no this one down here and this one down here so i just made this simple uh, descending melody that's going down like this and added these two just following my ears basically and finally to the loop i just added this melody on top here and uh, starting off with the f sharp and using the half steps right here and also using something at the end to make it loop uh, nicely back to the F sharp. So if we listen to this while it's looping, it sounds like this. So after I had that super simple melody, I uh, rocked it to Mixer Channel 1. And I start off uh, with a reverb, um, Valhalla reverb. After that, I added a portal. I went to HZE's bank and chose the stutter effects. I also automated it, so I'm gonna show you how I automated it in a second. After that, I added some .LP, just turned down these knobs and messed around with the amp quality and the needle quality. And then I added a pan from Shaperbox. And finally, I just added some EQ, taking out some of the harsh high frequencies and the low frequencies right here. So here's what the pan sounds like with the automation and all the other effects. Yeah, super simple. I just had it at zero first, uh, like 0% mix, and then turned it up to 69% uh, mix. So after I had this, I just rendered it out to, to a WAV file, uh, to a WAV file like this, and uh, I didn't do anything to the first WAV file, but I duplicated it like this in the sample and made this one unique. So all I did to it was I clicked this one right here, like that, and time stretch it to, um, to go dub like twice as fast. And then I push up a whole octave, and this is how that sounds. Just to get some switch ups in the melody, so we got like a slower part and a faster part right here. And routed it to mixer channel uh, 3 right here. And all I added was a half time and another EQ, taking out some of the highs again and some of the lows. So here's what it sounds like after that. So now that I had a nice foundation for the sample, I got two different sections. I just wanted to add uh, more sounds to the sample. So I brought back the pattern right here and muted the first melody, the bell that I showed you. And I went to Serum. Yeah, so for the second sound, I went to Serum. I went to uh, Shadows Void Bank and I went to the Synth Horror preset right here. Here's what the pattern looks like, it's super simple. I turned the synth down because it acts kind of like a bass when you turn it down in a lower octave. So I just followed the root note with a nice bounce and added these two notes right here at the end. So here's what it sounds like.
Um, for the mixing, I didn't do anything first. I rendered this out to a WAV file as well. And I, I routed it to mixer channel 6 right here. Which one is it? This one. And I just added the EQ, took out some of the highs because it was pretty harsh. And also some of the very lows. Because later on, I'm gonna explain why I took out the lows. But here's what it sounds like in contrast with the original sample. <laughs> Cool. so that's the second sound uh, I didn't want to put it here on the second uh, uh, in the second part of the sample either because it didn't sound good with these belts or like with this pattern so I just kept it for the first part so after that I brought back the pattern again so I went to serum again and I went to the lead astro in the same bank the void bank by shadow uh, and I went with the lead astro as I just said and I made this super simple pattern and these uh, are the same like pattern or same notes like in the original melody these right here so we paste them in it's the same so it's just a little roll thing a lead thing that's going down like this and for the second part it's the same thing but one octave above yeah so here's what it sounds like there's a little bit of delay in it but i wanted to like boost that delay so i added a echo boy put it to one fourth note uh, yeah, here's the settings, feedback is right here, and the mix is right here, and here's what it sounds like now. So after that, uh, I rendered that out to a WAV file as well, here's what the first part of the sample sounds like now. And then for the second part, I actually duplicated it this time, but I made it unique because I wanted to flip it some way, so I made it unique. Yeah, so basically all I did to it, I just time stretched it to make it twice as fast and also clicked stretch mode right here. So here's what it sounds like. That's for the second part of the sample and then for the next sound i went to contact and i went to the noir pure dark preset right here just to make a dark bottom note hitting hard like a bass line kind of so i just followed the root notes and i left a little bit of space in between each note so the sample can breathe a little bit before it hits hard again so i just routed it to mixer channel 8 added an eq took out some of the highs and kept the low frequencies uh, so this is why i cut out a lot of the low frequencies in the bass from serum um, so the piano could fit in these frequencies right here. After that, I just rendered it out to a WAV file. So here's the Noir Pierre piano. I didn't do anything to it. I routed it to Mixture Channel 11. And I didn't do anything to it. So yeah, it's just a piano. And after the piano, I added a bell, a tubular bell. And super simple pattern. It's just a root note hitting right here. But what I did to it, I, I went into the envelope and made it a square. So whenever the, like note stops the sample stops and uh, so i wanted it to hit for a long time at the drop of each fourth bar and then at the end like before right before the next drop hits i added another one high pitched uh, bell but i like shortened it so i'm just show you what it sounds like so just listen to the break right here man it just adds more bounce to it instead of having it like this. Did the same thing with the bell, I just rendered out to a WAV file right here. And I had it repeat throughout like the whole sample throughout the both of the sections right here. After I had all of this, uh, all of these sounds, I felt like the sample was kind of finished. But I wanted to add another section right here, so I took the first uh, melody right here and put it right here and then i duplicated these right here and i wanted to add some another sound so i went to serum a third time and i found this synth outset uh, preset from the shapes bank by shadow and yeah outset presets and it's a super simple pattern kinda i just took the main melody right here and i just took these notes Control c and i went in here and just pasted them like this I just pasted them like this. I don't know what the f I did, honest. So, uh, the pattern is really simple. I just went in here to the original pattern, uh, copy pasted it, and then pasted it in, in here. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna show you how I made it in a higher octave. But this is the pattern. I took every other bar like this, pitch it down one octave, uh, just like that. And then for the, and then I also added like an F sharp note right here. 
like to the root note kind of so this is how I made the pattern so here's how the preset sounds without any effects without anything on it So yeah, uh, and then for the effects I was even lazier, so I just went to the first mixer channel right here, I pressed file, save mixer channel, uh, mixer track state as, uh, I dragged it over right here, I just muted the portal, I actually took this uh, fruity EQ right here, I automated the like high frequencies, like the low pass thing right here, uh, I automated it to go something like this, so here's what the automation looks like, it, it won't work right now, yeah so it won't work right now, but... I got the WAV file, here's what it sounded like after I rendered it out. Yeah, so you get the idea of it. So the nice thing is, at these breaks, or like at, uh, or like at every other break, uh, the, the tubular belt is hitting and I think it's just a nice touch, a nice pocket for the belt to hit so. And so that was pretty much the final sound. I just rendered it out as a wave file as well. So after I had all this and the stems at the end right here, I just rendered it all out to a wave file and I'm gonna play you the final sample right now of three sections. So yeah. <laughs> Alright man, so that's pretty much it for the video, I hope you enjoyed it and hope you liked the sample. Uh, I, had, I had lots of fun using a bunch of serum sounds and serum leads and stuff like that. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.